recently I had a thought. So I shared that thought on the dumpster fire formerly known as Twitter, going back to just before the pandemic, when Mean Girls the Musical was still running on Broadway at the August Wilson Theater and was newly starring two up-and-coming singers named Renee Rapp and Sabrina Carpenter. In retrospect, that's insane. Now at the time, both ladies in their own right were already known quantities, but since then, both of their careers have exploded to new heights. Both headlining Coachella, both winning massive awards, both performing on SNL last year. It suddenly struck me how odd it is that two of the biggest pop stars in the world right now are theater kids. Throw that in with Ariana Grande leading the Wicked Press Tour before it's even begun. And now I'm wondering if there's some sort of correlation, not in like a Sondheim Illuminati way, but that would be amazing. Is there a direct trajectory from theater kid to pop star? In fact, why are so many of today's biggest superstars ex-theater kids? So today we're going to be exploring the theater kid to pop girly pipeline. Also, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Kat, I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. Okay, so if there was a fist fight between the theater kids and the Swifties in a Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m., who do you think would win? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks to Backstage for sponsoring this video. We'll hear from them in just a sec, but first I want to hear from you. Question of the day. If you could dreamcast your favorite musician into any musical, who would it be and what show? I feel like I have a trillion of these, so I'll just say the one that was also part of the tweet that inspired this video. I'd love to see Janice in Mean Girls, played by Chapel Roan. She gives such Janice vibes, I feel like that would be such a fun crossover. I'm still shocked that Chapel Roan isn't a theater kid. She has such musical theater vibes and such a theatricality to her when she performs. Plus, this is her old headshot, and you can tell that that girl's got 16 bars of Fly Fly Away from Catch Me If You Can ready at the drop of the hat. So... Speaking of auditions, let's learn about today's sponsor. Are you sick of rotating between the same three social media apps in an endless cycle of just refreshing them, wishing you could do something more productive with your scrolling? Well, our favorite casting site now comes in app form. Download Backstage and you can apply to auditions on the go. With Backstage, you can find in-person auditions, submit self-tapes, apply to worldwide casting calls, and so much more. Backstage is the quickest way to find auditions and the app makes it even easier. Let's take a look at some of the casting calls on backstage right now. Rocky Horror Show. That's how you know it's almost spooky season. Okay, who are they casting? Ooh, they're casting Brad and they're casting Columbia. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, all of my femme presenting tappers, get on this. I'd love to do Rocky Horror. That looks like so much fun. What a great job. We've got The Charity Case, which is a scripted show, non-union paid. They're casting four female leads. Ooh, nice. Into the Woods? Wait, where? Okay, if Baker's Wife is your dream, Role and you're available like October through December, have I got a job for you. You can check out those auditions and so many others over on Backstage, so download the Backstage app today. You can click the link down below or search for Backstage in your mobile app store. Thank you to Backstage for sponsoring this segment and thank you guys for checking out our sponsors. And now, back to the video. As I started to investigate the Theater Kid 2 pop star pipeline, I realized that this goes way deeper than just Sabrina Carpenter and Ariana Grande. In fact, it seems to be a pattern. Think about the likes of Lady Gaga, Sarah Bareilles, Ingrid Michaelson, Kelly Clarkson, Jordan Sparks, Dove Cameron, Carly Rae Jepsen, Taylor Swift did Cats as a blood sacrifice to manifest the Eras tour, plus anyone who has ever guest starred in Chicago. I think the most shocking to me is Billy Ray Cyrus. No thank you. For the dudes, there seems to be less of a pop star route and more of a widespread critical acclaim actor route. Of course you have like Nick Jonas, but I'm also talking about Tom Holland or Paul Mezcal, Josh Groban, Hugh Jackman, Timothy Chalamet, Jonathan Bailey, Daniel Radcliffe, Clay Aiken, Cody Simpson, Sting, Glenn Powell was apparently working on a musical with Ryan Murphy, so run. I can't believe that that was him on Screen Queens. Anthony Ramos, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Anthony Ramos, but to be fair, so did everyone else in Twisters. Not at Twisters, in Twisters. My sister would sell Girl Scout cookies. With her Girl Scout cookies, I would give them an Elvis song. So I would sing an Elvis song uh, to help her sell Girl Scout cookies, but I was too shy, so I'd go behind this honeysuckle bush. 
<laughs> so so they'd buy the cookie and then like some like honeysuckle bush is just singing Elvis songs. <laughs> so turns out this pipeline goes much deeper and has been going on for much longer because you start to think about legendary performers who have also been on Broadway. Artists like Linda Ronstadt or Carol King or Cher or David Bowie. So yes, I definitely think that there is a common thread in theater connecting them all, much like Madam Webb's web connects us all. And I think it's because theater is oftentimes the first outlet and opportunity people have to perform. It's their introduction to acting and the arts and entertainment. It's the first chance kids have to sing and dance on stage. So of course theater would naturally attract the kids who have an interest and talent in music and performance, but it also helps train them and gives them an opportunity to hone their skills. Of course, like the broad hard skills of singing, dancing, acting, but you've also got the soft skills that you can only really develop with experience. Things like reading an audience, how to move the show along at the correct speed, how to have that charisma to keep the audience in the palm of your hand. Being in theater also exposes you to incredible classic, dramatic, and musical works. Studying and analyzing those works can help you as an artist decipher what your voice is. They're able to define their artistry and figure out what sort of material speaks to them as a person and as an artist. So that gives them knowledge and inspiration as well as the experience and confidence to try their own thing. Basically all of these performance skills that you've honed as a theater kid are transferable now into your new career as a pop star. And I think it becomes even more evident when you start looking at signature moves from these musicians. Ingrid Michaelson and Sarah Bareilles have always written very emotional, very musical theater ballad inspired pieces. Renee Rapp and Ariana Grande have incredible riffs and that's because they have the vocal training from their musical theater backgrounds that allow them to have that incredible range. Sabrina Carpenter's vibe, her confidence, her ability to have this easygoing, stage persona, plus her musical improv skills, that's because of her stage experience. Also, I completely forgot to mention that Sabrina Carpenter went to theater camp with me. I mentioned that not to name drop, but to say that like she's the real deal, like she actually loves musical theater and she's been doing it for a long, long time. Here's a photo from when we did The Music Man. That's the same production that I did with Julia. <laughs> so personally, I think that there are probably tons of superstars who would identify as theater kids. There's a famous quote that I love by Terrence Mann, and he says that movies will make you famous, television will make you rich, but theater will make you good. I think that's so funny, and of course it's meant to be hyperbolic. If theater is what makes you good, it would definitely make sense that these people would see mainstream success. And it definitely makes sense that these superstars would still definitely have a soft spot for musicals. Because it's their first love. It's the thing that made them fall in love with acting, entertainment, and performing in the first place. That's one of the big reasons why I tend to give stunt casting a chance, because you never know who's secretly a theater kid. But those are just some of my thoughts. I want to hear from you. What do you think about the theater kid to superstar pipeline? Let me know any and all thoughts in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe, join the musical theater internet cult. Thanks again to Backstage for sponsoring this video. Go check out their app, click the link down below, or just search Backstage in your mobile app store. I hope you're having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!